everyone and welcome to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you're back to do some Thanksgiving prep. This can actually be for um, anytime you have to bring dessert or anything like that. It just happens to be Thanksgiving tomorrow and I am in charge of bringing tea and dessert which are two of my favorite things anyway so why not. Um, because we're traveling it's just an easier way um, to bring something. It's easier to bring dessert so if you have to travel it's kind of a, a good key is it's easier to bring dessert than um, stuff that has to stay warm and all that when you have to drive far. So for Thanksgiving tomorrow, um, I know you guys can hear my mixer going and my dishwasher, but don't you always have to wash your dishes, I feel like, before you start cooking? For some reason, I just, I can't have any in the sink and my dishwasher was almost full, so I just went ahead and ran it. So sorry if it's a little bit noisy, I apologize. Um, I am actually making a red velvet poke cake. And so that's basically where you poke holes in, you put pudding on top and whipped cream and then some kind of topping. You can, there's a lot of variations. Um, the people that I'm actually going to visit, they really like red velvet or one of their kids does. So I always like to bring red velvet when I come for, um, I think I've done it twice now, twice or three times for either Easter or Christmas. Um, so I'm just using a regular cake box mix. Um, this was the only one that was at my food line. Usually I um, buy the cheap one. So don't be intimidated by buying the cheaper one. Um, I just did it to the directions on the back. Um, egg, water, oil, beating it right now. Let me turn that off. This is actually um, the one thing I wanted to tell you guys is when it says beat for two minutes, you should beat for two minutes. Um, it's actually folding air into your cake and it'll make it rise. Um, I want to see my grandma or my mom told me that. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's true actually. So it's not just a mix to incorporate. Actually, if it says to, you know, mix it for so long, mix it. So I have mine all mixed. I'm going to get it in the oven and then I'll show you guys how I assemble it and the rest of what I'm doing for Thanksgiving because it's me. I couldn't just make one dessert, right? No, I had to make a few. So <laughs> I'm just coming along and um, I'll show you guys uh, what I'm doing in my kitchen. So as um, a regular homeschooling mom, Ryan came in here with one of his uh, things, worksheets. Now he's climbing on the counters. And as I'm baking this cake, so we're going to spray it and get it in the oven while I help him with this worksheet. Multitasking at his finest, right? In my terrible life. I'm so sorry. Don't spill it. Here. Oh my gosh. I just drip blood. <laughs> it's just like, oh. what do you think? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Right. Can I have the first bite? No, you can go do your school. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna make the pudding that goes on top of the poke cake once you poke the holes in it, so I can get it in the refrigerator, get it kind of nice and cold. Have you sing me that poem again? Ketchup on my hot dogs, ketchup on my beans, ketchup on my fried eggs, ketchup on my peas, on all my greens, ketchup on my napkins, ketchup on my on my hands. Oh, I do love ketchup. I'm glad my mom understands. Look at my birdie bird. I enlisted um, child labor. And he's helping me whisk because you have to whisk the pudding for five minutes and my wrist was hurting. How? So. Mine's starting to hurt too, but every time my wrist starts to hurt, my hand starts to hurt on my arm, I just block it off. Okay, Captain America. So we're back home. 
And we're making pumpkin pie. Yeah, with my new hair. Yes, Ryan got a haircut. So we, me and Ryan are making a pumpkin pie because there wasn't any in the store and we didn't want to go to another store. So. And we actually went to Walmart. We, and we ended up going to Walmart, and but we had everything to make the pumpkin pie at that point. So. Yeah. So we just made it. We're just going to make it right now. For my pumpkin pie, I just got a Pillsbury crust and I put it in my pie dish. I just kind of pushed it all the way up. Um, I do have a different one, but this one was deeper and it matches all my other dishes. Like I have these Temptation um, dishes. They look kind of pink on camera, but they're more like a nice cranberry red. And so I wanted it all to match, so that's what I did. Push, push the crust down. And I am literally going to go off of this recipe that's on the Libby's um, pumpkin pie pure pumpkin. So I'm going to do this recipe. The other recipes that I compared, the only difference was that they used sweetened condensed milk instead of evaporated milk, but you didn't um, have to put in sugar. So I got evaporated milk because that's what it said in the store. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use pumpkin pie spice because that's what I had instead of doing all three of the different spices here. Got our evaporated milk open, got our bowl. We gotta get to going, huh? I want you to put, um, take this spatula, take this pumpkin, and put it in the bowl. Um, he's clean, he just took a shower, don't worry guys. Well, it's not good if you don't have sugar in it. Add the evaporated milk. All right, we already added the sugar. Now Ryan's gonna attempt to crack an egg. I've cracked an egg. Okay. How did it go? Any shells? Nope. Okay. Okay, I put in a half a, tea, a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, the recipe calls for three different like cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. I have pumpkin pie spice, so I'm gonna put two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice because that's the equivalent. Yes. Okay, you, whoa, you wanna shake off some? Shake off some? Very nice. <laughs> oh, oh man, all over your pajamas. <laughs> All right, so I am just stirring right now. I mix it all up. I have this really little spatula, guys, because my other two are dirty. Stir, so make sure you get all the. Do you think it looks good? Confidence is key. Let's go really slow, okay? so funny if I drop the camera. I know it's gonna be good. Well, we are having pumpkin pie and camera. With a camera inside it, so. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, um, watch out for the for the technical pieces. They can shock you. Ah! Your 
just to put the temperature down to 350 for 40 to 50 minutes until you put like a knife in the middle and it comes out. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I got a little overzealous, guys. I came, we got home, and my cake was all cooled, and I did a red velvet in the 9x13. You saw me do that earlier. Um, then all I did was I took the end of, like, say, a butter knife. I actually think I used, like, a spatula. But I just poked holes all in the red velvet cake, and then I put the pudding that we had made earlier, poured it all over so it went down inside those holes. And then now I'm putting whipped topping over the top and a bunch of crushed Oreos. And basically I just put Oreos in a bag and I beat them with the other end of my knife, which sounds terribly barbaric, but what can you do? So I'm actually waiting for this to thaw. You can see I've been messing with it a little bit. But, um, so you wanna use Cool Whip that is not frozen. And I had put mine in the freezer, I don't know, out of habit. So I'm just waiting for it to thaw, and I put it over, put the Oreos on, and I'll be good to go. So I'll check back in with you in a minute. All right, guys, so I put the foil around because I felt like the crust was getting a little too burned. I don't know. I just didn't want it to burn. So it says to insert a knife and if it comes out clean, it's done. Whoa, well, I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. It's coming out clean on that side. Out. I'm burning myself. So we should pick up the foil. Oh, there's a shower that's a bit. Alright, guys, as we continue our Thanksgiving prep for dessert. I have this kind of little hint. If you are not a baker, if you are not like, this is not my forte, I can't, this is not for me. The best thing I could tell you to do is to do cookies if you really want to bake something or buy cookies. Um, and what I mean is I usually, when I'm going somewhere, um, if I have a Sam's Club near me, I literally go to Sam's Club, buy a big round platter and of cookies and it's $20. They're amazing, everybody loves them. Those are good for like potlucks, anything. Um, if you don't have a Sam's Club near you, the next best thing that I have figured out is to buy um, frozen or refrigerated cookie dough. This makes 24 cookies, I bought two of them. $5, I have 48 cookies, I put them, I put them in the oven for um, like 13 minutes, something like that point is you have 48 cookies and you have a, this nice little platter that you know use a platter you have go to the dollar store people think that it like oh they slaved and when somebody says oh these are really good like you make good cookies say thank you and don't worry about the fact that you use frozen or refrigerated dough don't worry because you know what you deserve to have a break once in a while. So I am taking my refrigerated dough and I'm gonna put it on some cookie sheets and start baking. Tip. Another helpful tip is to leave your refrigerated cookie dough inside the refrigerator till you're like ready to actually place it on the cookie sheet. Um, I, for some reason, left mine on the counter. I think me and Ryan were actually going to do it and then we didn't um, because I was still cooking something else in the oven. So sometimes when the dough gets kind of soft, it's hard to pull it apart. It kind of melts together. Um, so that's the only thing that I would say is just to 
little tip. All right guys, uh, let me level with you. I'll show you exactly what time it is. It is 11.18. I'm still baking. I have it packed. My son is packed for tomorrow. Me and my husband have it. My house looks atrocious and, you know, real life over here. So um, I wanted to tell you guys this other weird tip and it's about this spatula. It's like a slotted spatula, black. And this is actually, 97 cents cheapest spatula you could buy at Walmart okay Walmart this one has been my lifesaver I have another one that is all filled in now I am NOT a huge like technical I couldn't tell you what the difference is or why this one has holes and why some of them don't I don't know but one day I will learn and I could share it but today I have no idea this spatula though has been amazing, 97 cents, and I just feel like I can't even live without it. To the point where I probably need to go buy another one. So I know sometimes we have like these favorite kitchen things